Lilo is a brand new micro-budget British movie from Jamie Knoll and follows a 16-year-old boy named Parnell who gets involved with this gang who decide to commit a very violent crime one night. However, after the crime is committed, the gang members who actually committed the crime kind of go their own separate ways, causing the leader of the gang to go out, find them, and essentially kill them. And Parnell is one of those people, but he manages to get away, as his mum decides to drive them both to France, to their sister's house, to lie low for a bit. I'm going to be honest, I kind of didn't know what to expect with this movie, mainly because I haven't heard a single thing about this film, and it's such a low-budget affair. The only thing I was really hoping to get from it is like a really solid family drama that focuses on very topical issues. And for the most part, you do get that. What this movie does really well is create a family dynamic that really works well under pressure, and considering the overall plot of the movie and how it ends up getting more tighter and tenser throughout the course of the film, the family dynamic does a really good job of reflecting said tone and said issues that are coming to get them, and I thought the movie did a really good job of that. And that is mainly down to two areas. The writing, again by Jamie Knoll, is really good, um, and it really showcases what these characters are like, and how well they know each other, or in some set cases, how well they don't know each other. And it really does work, especially for the most part. And the acting is the other aspect that really makes this film work better than it really should. Um, Aaron Thomas Ward, who plays Parnell, I just had to check the name there, he's really, really good. At first, he doesn't get much dialogue, but to be honest, the way he moves and his facial expressions really do show the grief he's going under throughout especially the first half of this movie. The second half he gets a lot more to do and say, but either way his performance is really, really good as well. Uh, the woman who plays the mum, I thought she was fantastic, and also the guy who plays the sister's other half's dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm really bad with these actors' names because I haven't seen them in anything before, but I thought he was really good as well. The dad of the sister's other half. Sorry, I'm really bad at explaining this, but he's he was really good as well. The cinematography is also really good as well, especially for such a low micro-budget movie. Uh, they really do what they can with the setting that they have, and I can kind of understand why they've set it in the place that they do. Because a lot of movies of this nature, family dramas focused around a kid who's in a gang, kind of tend to stick, especially British ones anyway, tend to stick within the suburban areas of London or like those kind of settings, you know, lots lots of high, you know, flats and they kind of just tend to stick with them. But with this movie, you kind of get two different settings. You get the leader of the gang and his friend who are looking for Parnell and they kind of stick mostly in the London area. Whereas the other more, I suppose the main characters you could call them, such as Parnell and his family, they are in France, which has a lot of lovely scenery, and the house that they're staying in is also very nicely shot as well. So you have a nice contrast. You have the beautiful French uh, countryside, but you also have the dim and murky London setting as well. And they do act as a nice contrast, even though you do see more of the uh, French setting than you do with the London one. I think they're well utilised and I can completely understand why they shot it there was to make it look a lot more distinct and stand out a lot more from, say, your more generic family drama. If I had to point out any flaws or nitpicks with the movie, I suppose the only ones I have are that the sister, or whoever plays the sister, again, the actress's name I have kind of blanked on, but she's not that great. There are times where she is pretty good, but for the most part her delivery isn't the best, especially compared to others in the movie, Who, because I would say the cast is pretty solid throughout. I would say she is just the one link that is weaker than the rest, which is a shame, because there are some moments where she is genuinely trying, but for me she just didn't work in quite a lot of the scenes. 
The other thing I wasn't that keen on is the way the movie concludes. And I don't mean, like, the final act and that, because the final act is really good. Um, and there are some things they do in the second half of the movie that really take you for a turn, and I really like that, especially in terms of the visuals. The visuals get really experimental at one point, and I really like what they did there, because it really took me off guard, but in, like, a really good way. What I mean in regards to what I didn't like is that the actual ending, like where the movie stops, feels a bit lacklustre. Like, yes, I suppose it's the the normal way of concluding a story like that, but something about it just felt a bit la lacklustre and I suppose a little abrupt as well. But I think in the long term it works, but I mean, at this moment in time, it just felt something didn't sit right with me. In the end, I'm going to give Lilo a 7 out of 10. If you haven't heard of this movie, which I presume a lot of you are in that mind space, then I highly recommend you give it a watch. It's a really interesting and really uniquely handled family drama that knows what it is, but also manages to slightly push the boundaries a little in terms of what it is trying to do. It's currently on Amazon Prime at the moment in the UK. I'm not sure about other territories, but if you live in the UK, it's currently on Amazon Prime for free if you have an account. So I highly recommend you go and watch it because I don't think you'll be disappointed. So guys, that was my review for Lilo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye.